uh, it's cold. <laughs> it's so cold. It's so cold. Last night, uh, before I went to bed, I looked at the temperature and it was zero degrees out, which is the funniest temperature it can be because it's none. It's none temperature. It's none degrees. Uh, right now we're in the single digits. It should get into the negatives tonight here in the Midwest. Uh, be safe, Dio's die. I'm glad you're breaking out the Arctic gear. Uh, there's been a weather advisory uh, for um, the area of of just like the wind chill, wind chill advisory. Undead Adamas, thank you for the resubscribe. Numb temperature, left ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a little bit of snow, not as much snow as I had hoped. Um, but I basically. Um, Thursday, because this is all, all anybody's been talking about in the Midwest, because that's how we are in the Midwest. Uh, Thursday, I went and I got um, groceries and uh, anything I would need. And then I have hermetically sealed myself in my apartment in, in a surprisingly literal way in that I have just like... <laughs> There, there's just I've, I've been systematically sealing up my problem windows with like the the um, like plastic sheeting that you can get and then you blow dry it and it tightens up and it seals it off and so I, I, I've been doing that the last like two weeks um, <clears throat> and I got all the problem windows but then I noticed a breeze coming in from one of my doors so I, I tucked some foam down under that and I can't leave now I'm not gonna leave until the temperatures are back in the double digits um this is the, apparently the cold is too strong yeah it's possible it's only a stopgap measure you know but i've been very pleased with how it works my, my apartment was quite drafty and all i i only did three windows but even after one window i could notice a difference in like how cold it was and how often the temp the the heat was kicking on and stuff like that so honestly pretty actually pretty pleased with how it went I had a leaky window we legit liquid nailed the cracks close on that's intense i didn't know liquid nails were a thing <laughs> it's pretty wild um anyway it's very cold out please be safe if you're in very cold weather uh if the wind chill is significantly bad enough which it is then your skin can suffer frostbite after like 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes in, in minus 30 degree weather. And that might not seem like a lot, uh, especially if you're in the Midwest and you have a car, it's pro you're probably gonna be okay, but uh, it's serious business. When I was in grad school uh, and I lived in Wisconsin, which is already a very cold and snowy state in the winter uh, during, I, I was there during the, the last polar vortex, if you remember, in, in America. I don't know how badly it hit other countries. I, mean, I assume it hit the whole world in different ways. But uh, and, and then we the temperature was like negative 10, negative 20 for like quite a span of time. I did not have a car in grad school. Uh, I was entirely bike bus bound. Um, and so <laughs> it was it was bad <laughs> it was bad uh in hindsight i'm like it was pretty crazy uh how i would just like i would just like because i would like bike everywhere and i would get back to my apartment and i would strip off like my thermal silks and like my my weather gear and my giant boots and my skin would just be like bright red from being chapped um even with even with like arctic level gear I, like that was a wild you have to walk to class. Please, 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 please bundle up. Literally cover as much of your flesh as you possibly can. That was the year, that was the year University of Wisconsin-Madison canceled school, not because of snow, but because of cold. It was so cold out that it was like a risk for students to be waiting at bus stops. Like there is the, the, the frostbite, the frostbite, danger was so bad that they were like we can't risk students trying to get to school waiting outside at bus stops so they just called they called it on account of cold which is really funny to me um yeah I, yeah moon basket that's good advice you don't know what's going to happen to your car especially if you haven't if like it because the cold weather can do stuff to your car make sure you give it time to warm up 
uh, let it idle a little bit before it gets out, and make sure you're like, make sure you're you're taking all your cold weather gear in case you need it. Yeah, Corvus Punk, how is the weather in the Pacific Northwest? Is it still? I assume it's cold, but and rainy, but mild, because you're like on the ocean, and the Pacific Northwest has its own weather patterns, which are wild. Um. Anyway. Yeah, put hot potatoes in your pocket. Get, get on that. Everybody should get on that little women. On that little women ride. Um, all right, so we're playing hypothetically. So here, here's the situation. We're playing Alan Wake expansion for control. A-W-E. Bye, Geos die. Stay safe. Stay warm. I mean, you're not going to be able to, but stay safe. Um... Here's the thing about Control is that I played through and beat this game on a PlayStation and then I got a copy for my PC, um, but that PC doesn't have a, a completed game file. Uh, and in order to access the DLCs, you to access the Alan Wake one, you only have to play partway through the game. To access the foundation, you have to have beaten the game. And I was like, I don't have time for that. It's cold and I need to bake, which I did a lot of yesterday. Um, I made a key lime pie and then some key lime gin fizz. I had a nice evening. I watched Dr. No. It was a good night. Um, but I couldn't get... <laughs> so here's what I did is I sourced a completed save file from the internet. So that's what we're playing on. Uh, but the save, the only save file I could find, they'd already beaten the Foundation DLC, so we will not be playing that. We're only going to be playing the Alan Wake one. Um, and that just has to be sufficient. <laughs> uh, I used the Smitten Kitten, sorry, I used the Smitten Kitchen Key Lime Pie recipe, because I love Smitten Kitchen. Um, it was, it's a classic it's a classic key lime pie. So it was key lime juice and zest, uh, condensed milk, and egg yolks. It was very basic. Um, yeah, moon basket, totally. Here's the thing is like, it didn't work perfectly. Um, for reasons I'm not totally clear on, uh, it, 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 something was weird with the save file. This is something you can absolutely do with like any game. You just have to know where on your computer these save files are stored locally and then just replace them. Um, so you can do this with almost any game. And so like this one, it, it has like a lot of the outfits, which is nice. Obviously we're gonna do the asynchronous suit because it's the nicest one. Yeah, I'm gonna switch. All right, the game has also decided. Okay, there we go. Um, but it won't, it, it didn't unlock all of the missions. Cause like normally you can unlock, you can go back and replay missions. Um, but for some reason in this one, even though it's clearly like a, clearly like a very finished file, it won't let me go back and choose the, the missions I do. So that's why we're not doing foundation. Um, but we are doing Alan Wake. Uh, let me know how the volume on the game is when we get into combat, because I suspect that the combat... Oh, does my controller have drift? Does my fucking PlayStation controller have drift? I hate that. I like this outfit. It, the, this unlock didn't have the gold outfit, which is the one that I wore. Yes, Mechtel, 100, 100, 100,000 percent. As soon as I went, I, I looked up all the outfits that you could have in the game. I went and found that one and did the whole, like, quest that you have to do to get it. And I was like, obviously, this is what I'm wearing for the rest of all time. Obviously. Account level stuff might be saved somewhere separate from the save files. That makes sense. Um, yeah, that's very possible. Uh, anyway, the, the worst thing is that I don't know how this is going to run on my computer because um, I got this GeForce Now subscription. I got it free when I got my new graphics card. Um, so I've got like a, a six months trial. Surprisingly, a good service. I don't know if I will continue to pay for it afterwards because it's also surprisingly expensive. <laughs> Look at her go. Um, but it's basically a cloud cloud gaming service and the last time I played control on stream I was using that 
Um, I do not know how this computer is going to run it when when we get into the like actual meat of the combat. So we'll we'll see. Yeah, we spinning. I love. I'm just. I'm into the the good physics on the outfit. <laughs> Anyway, uh, y'all ready for some more Alan Wake? Good to see you, man. Darkness engulfed the elevator. There was something there, reaching for her, trying to make her act. It was a distress call. Phaeton sensed a drowning man, a hunger in the dark. Investigation sector. Investigation sector, huh? We should check this out. Uh, the ending of Alan Wake American Nightmare, Alan Wake's American Nightmare, was fine. It was a good time. Uh, oh god, where does it say we need to go? Game, you have to tell me. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. There, uh, game, you have to tell me. Uh, oh, we also have this thing. I don't know what this is. Use a token in the jukebox. We might check that later. All right, in the investigation sector. Boom. This is the beginning of the DLC. And this is, we're doing the AWE, which is the Alan Wake. It's not the Alan Wake, it's the, it, it doesn't stand for Alan Wake expansion, but it's the Alan Wake expansion. Um, oh, the jukebox might be combat challenge, yeah. Jukebox missions are really boring, okay. Uh, well, we probably won't fuck with them. This, the, the DLC is supposed to be around four hours. So this will be like, probably like the next two, two and a half streams. And then we'll move on to Alan Wake 2, which I'm really hype about. Oh, also, I, uh... Hello? Let's get into this. Anyone And then here? we'll talk about plans for the new year. Yes, not. I mean, I have to remember, okay. I got fly flowers. much more crowded cool. than the rest of the bureau. Hey, it's dark in here. Where are the... Where are the lights? Okay. Staffing, oops, sorry. Oh, oh. Why is that firing? That does not like seem like what that button should do. I was trying to open the collectible we just got, okay. Tractor supplement, hold on, I'm in the wrong staffing issue. There we go. There's an increase in AWE cases. Hey, they said the title of the DLC. Oh man, God, even the, even the, the bureau is having staffing issues. <laughs> even the bureau. And it's rough out there, okay. <gasps> Darling investigations. Per, okay. Despite the amount of, uh, majority wholly unaware that, okay. Research wing to interview the staff. The matter was further complicated by the lack of clarity on whether non-human paranormal entities warrant humane treatment. While this investigation cannot address any charges against Dr. Darling, we do recommend an investigation into blank research. Our man. Our man's in trouble. As, as well he should be. That would be fucking incredible, Gold Stars. Someday. All right, so there's a little power cube. Can I just grab you? Oops. I'm still, still getting used to my powers. All right, that's my dodge button. 
Yes. <laughs> no, I don't. I actually do not want to launch you. No. No. All right. Uh, maybe I can't help but doing that. Also, I want to swap guns. I don't know why I've got. I did some fussing with my loadout, but I actually don't think I want the pierce. Uh, kind of think I want the charge. Maybe I want shatter. Now let's do. Let's start with charge. Uh, let's do last radius reload. Ammo cost while levitating. Yeah, let's do that. And uh, blast radius. That should be fine. Okay. Uh, it's not working. Is it because I removed the power? Core somewhere. <laughs> I feel like that was probably not it, because that's what it was. Is it just in the right place? No, okay, good. And like, that doesn't make sense. That's not much of a puzzle. <laughs> okay. Uh, so some notes on what I want to do in the new year. I want to start, I guess I should do a poll on this. I want to start doing like maybe once monthly uh, crowd control streams because uh, I really like crowd control I want to do it more <laughs> I think it's very fun uh, I but I can't I don't know what game I want to do it with so uh, maybe I'll do some sort of poll I'll look up what the options are and we'll do the poll it might maybe a full Hades run through I almost I, Hades is a fun challenge because I'm very good at it but also um Y'all are good at fucking with me <laughs> when I play Hades in a very fun way. Uh, the the challenge presented is equal to my skills. That's how I feel about it. Can I get through here? Scoozy. Uh, so the eternal boat ride was extremely yeah. I I clipped just that and uploaded that to YouTube, and it ended up being like. 20 minutes. Like, y'all kept me on that boat for, like, a full 20 minutes! Just, just extremely funny. What's happening here? I see. A little cube. Cube section. Uh. I don't know why I'm collecting all these things. We're not reading them. Uh, so, that's, uh, something I want to do. The other thing I want to do... An unpuzzle room. I love the idea of an unpuzzle room. That's really funny. That is a very good. Okay. Uh, the other thing is that I got, I got an online course. I was just trying it out. I was trying this like it's just like this craft course. Okay. Uh. <laughs> the, for some reason this. This never occurred to me in the base game, but these core cubes do remind me of Companion Cube. Now that um, uh, so I got this online course from like this craft company that does like online courses, and I was like, are these going to be any good? I'll buy one and we'll see. Um, and it turns out it was really, really good. Uh, and the course is on designing, <laughs> making wooden automatons. <laughs> uh, and so I've, I, I've been buying pass. I've been buying um, the tools and wood and stuff required to make the, the final project in this class. Um, and it's really expensive. Tools are expensive and wood is expensive. Um, and then I had this flash of genius, which is that if we do a craft stream, I can write all of that off on my taxes. So, <laughs> so continuing um, the theme of Jenna's tax dodge, <laughs> tax dodge live stream is that we're gonna be, we're gonna do some sort of craft 
<laughs> comes some sort of crafting night. Uh, here's my idea. So the final project for this wooden automaton course is um, it's a very simple automaton. It's like this little box and it's got gears on the front and those gears connect to wings. And then when you spin it, the wings flap and it's almost friend shaped, but it's not quite friend shaped. So what I want to do, and this is probably what we'll do after the Alan Wake, uh, Alan Wake, you, you, you Ari is done. Um, we'll do tax dodge February and, um, detective, but something definitely happened here. I know it, something's going to happen when I hit this light switch. So, um, it basically, yeah. Um, but I lost my train of thought. And I don't know. I don't know what I was saying. I saw the light switch and I was like, oh shit. Um, so we'll do a, ca a craft stream so I can write all of that off. The, okay, no, I remember is that, um, sorry, there is dust on my controller. The, um, it's almost friend shaped. It's not friend shaped enough. So I wanna redesign it and I wanna redesign it in Blender. So I figured uh, after Alan Wake Uary, uh, we'll do a blender stream we'll, where we will finesse the friend shape of the friend and then that'll be the, the design that I choose. I'll, I'll, uh, and I'll have like a screenshot of the final project so you can see how close to friend shape it's being but how not quite friend shaped enough it is. Uh, obviously, it's so close to being a little guy. It's so close to being a little guy although it is quite large. It's a very large final project. It's gonna be really a a centerpiece for something. Um, anyway, so we'll be doing that and then we'll do some sort of craft, some sort of craft uh, stream. And I don't 100% know what that looks like. Uh, this is the, this maybe this will be the incentive to finally convince me to get a dining room table and then we can set up and stream there and I can do projects there. Anyway, that's, that's my plan. I wanna do craft night and I wanna do crowd control. <laughs> That was less dramatic than I was expecting. But did everything behind me change? Oh. <laughs> there is a door. I am a hazard. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like I can get through there. I'm gonna assume that this light switch just changed everything behind me. Oh, you have to, that's right. Forgot, I forgot how control do. I feel this feels familiar. I can't seem to. Uh, I've forgotten. I, I'm sorry. I'm. My name is Alan Wake. He said it. He said the name of his game. This is going to be the highest definition Alan Wake we've ever seen. Who are you? Who are you? Do I know you? I'm your friend Tom. Tom Zane. There's nothing to worry about. Tom. The poet. The diver. You, you look different. That was just a, a role. A character. The protagonist I played in my, my old film. I'm a filmmaker. An auteur like yourself. Auteur. <laughs> Working on this together, remember? An artistic collaboration. You need a drink.
endless darkness. Nothing holds still. We're very close now. You've been riding. I found a way to escape. It'll work this time. Riding? You found a way! No. I, I don't... Wait. There's something. It's my double. He's out there. I, I've seen yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing to Mr. worry Mr. Scratch about. is still oh, out there? I'm dealing with him. It's fine, my friend. Let me handle him. You've met him? What the hell? Now, now, come on. You misunderstand me. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that was the Alan Wake? The famous writer? Oh my god, he Jesse, disappeared no. Years ago, it was all over the news back then. Oh my and god. Thomas Zane was with him. The poet. No, wait. The, the, he was a filmmaker. I, I always remember that wrong. Ha <laughs> ha! The fucking Berenstein Bears effect. <laughs> in the game. It's in the game. Uh, the great season. The bread and jam ones are relatively new. I think I only added those last week, so you haven't missed too much. Okay. I am curious, I'm curious whether the, so obviously the motel room is a reoccurring element from Alan Wake's American Nightmare. I'm curious to what extent they had this plan from the beginning of Control, because this motel is quite a significant part of Control. Uh, I'm curious if that was something they intended from the first, or if they if remedy just likes old school motels like this i don't know excuse me uh -oh. I was hoping it would give me some government issued pistachios. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right, so there was the TV, the vending machine, the radio. Okay. Oh, a casino. <laughs> You got more? No, okay. Under the Domus, thank you. <laughs> Justin's episode is so bonkers. <laughs> it's by far the most bonkers episode so far. <laughs> he was just I don't know what I don't know what Justin was on. He was having a great fucking time. Uh, I'm 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 loving making the show. <laughs> I hope that comes through. I'm gonna have a great time with it. Hey, Vanilla Lizard. Yeah, uh, if you aren't familiar, chat, I've got a new podcast out called Big Game Hunger, where every week me and have guests get three random prompts. I have to make the big next game based on them. It comes out every Monday. It's fun as hell. 
Those things are bad. <laughs> I'm trying to remember stuff that was in the game. I think those are bad, right? They, they want to come towards me and hurt me, even though I'm nice. Oh, is it? In the top 500 podcasts. That's cool. BCB was in the top 50? That's also very cool. There isn't enough later gen representation. We're old. <laughs> oh, good luck, Mechtel. Nice try, Mechtel. Oh. Okay. Am I supposed to go that way? Mm -mm. I do worry I'm supposed to jump over there. <laughs> oh man, if you... Uh, yeah, if you don't know Alan Wake or what Alan Wake's whole deal is, I bet this is fucking confusing as hell. And I'm glad I didn't play this. Uh, before playing Alan Wake, because, like, what the fuck? Oh god, oh god. Fuck! I fucked that up. Oh, okay. Okay. Don't, game. Don't get ominous, ominous on me, okay? Dope. Easy. Oh, I mean, that jam emo is about to come in handy. <laughs> Too much jam. That guy got jam crazy. And it led to him being, <laughs> being crushed. And it goes all like jam, 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 flesh. Why did Wake want me to come here? I mean, it just feels like I just did a circle, but I know that's not true. Well, do I know that that's not true? I don't. Okay. Uh oh. What? Gotta check the bathroom first. Most important room in every game. Yeah, this all seems like it's bad news, that maybe. That doesn't look like a house shift. No, it doesn't. Do wanna know? Yes, you do. So many sounds, you know? <laughs> it's just like a lot of sounds. Okay. Oh, fuck. Uh, booping guys is my favorite thing to do in the game. I love a boop. And I love when I can uh, boop a guy with another guy. Like, use the body of one to boop another. Gossip. Okay, well, we will have to read foot gossip. Of course, the history of him here. All right, hold on. We got to read foot gossip. 
I know I often say no foot gossip on stream, but I, we have to, I'm just too curious. Kaylee, tell, tell me what you think of the wicker man. You don't have to, <laughs> but you watch the wicker man, huh? Uh, I also wanted to read about Hartman's arrest. Okay, kidnap Walter, an individual, sanctioning an obstruction of bureau. Because Hartman seems like it's going to be the big bad. It's so good. Yes, Kaylee. Yes. I finally looked at, I got this, uh, I, I bought the 4K <laughs> Wicker Man Collector's Edition. And it came with this little flyer for a company that seems to make, it says Wicker Man inspired candles and other horrors. It seems to make only Wicker Man inspired merch uh, called Wailing Dip. Uh, and they had some pretty good, pretty good Wicker Man stuff. I was really delighted. Yeah, it is. It's the old Gods of Asgard. Good read. Tor and Odin. Okay. Okay, all right. Anderson brothers do their sonality and wake possibly deceased. Okay. Where's, okay. Foot gossip. My feet gossip at night and now I have to wear shoes to bed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, a wigger man and styled candles. Yes. Well, here's what I like about it is they offer they offer a wicker man candle, which is conceptually extremely funny, right? Um and not only do they uh, so uh, yeah, so conceptually that's already incredible. They also offer rip um, they offer two sizes. One is a mini size and it's very cute. And then they've got a larger one. And the larger one has a, a visible Sergeant Howie within the guts with the, his arm reaching out. And it's really funny, kind of grim, but I really like it. I'm, I'm debating. I'm debating. I don't have a, I don't have a big need for this novelty candles. Darkness is blocking the door. So... Now I have to deal with an interdimensional noise and sentient shadows. Candles that yell about Jesus while you burn them. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm excited that we're already getting like some Alan Wake mechanics here. What I am going to do is try to lower the darkness. This is just visually very dark. Sorry, not lower the brightness, increase the dark. Incre increase the light, lower the darkness, increase the light. Oh. Oh right, the, I forgot about the mold stuff. I don't remember how you deal with the mold stuff. <laughs> Oh, okay, you just have to be a high enough level. That's right. Yes, exactly like Emma. I hope Emma reappears in, in probably not in this, but in Alan Wake too. I have to destroy stuff. Okay. I don't know if this is doing anything. I'm try I'm just trying to remember what you do with. <laughs> also, maybe I should empty. No, no. It's fine that I'm not collecting stuff. I'm not missing out. Nasty. It's nasty in here. All right, I guess there's nothing. Over here? All right. Just a bonus. Uh, you do have infinite bullets in the game, basically. The, you don't, there's no bullets, but you recharge, basically. It's like a stamina, it's the stam, it's the game's stamina, basically. Um, so like if I use up all my bullets, it has to re recharge. 
Control's a good game. You haven't played it. Yes, yes. I love the fact. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they have a jar of foreskin candles. They also have the hand of glory candle, um, <clears throat> which is great. Just great. Oh, orange peel. I'm worried that I didn't go. In fact, let's circle back to it. Cause there was that area that I did not go back to. We'll go back, okay. Well, this is not where I meant to go back to. Uh, this will be fine. Because there was an area in that last section that I could fly up to, but I did not do it. <laughs> oh yeah, the maze the maze in this game. I mean, that's another one where it's like it's so I it, it's so fascinating to have played Alan Wake now and see the threads in Alan Wake that were leading to that maze portion. Uh it's just really fascinating. Alright, I came this way. No need to respawn boys. Yeah, here we go, okay. Whoa. Looks like the house has gotten a little wild in here. House is wildin'. Okay. Yeah, the game very much demands that you are very mobile. That's gonna be... Okay, so there's nothing actually over here. Uh, yeah, the, the combat really demands you be very mobile, but it gives you a lot of very fun mobility options. Like, as you can see, I've got a very nice dodge. Uh, I can fly, which is <laughs> the best part of the game. Dofo noodles is good. Alan Wake's good. Alright. I already unlocked you. Let's... I appreciate the attention to detail that they gave the physics of this outfit. Because holy cow is it satisfying to like fly when it looks this cool. Just like, good work. Good work, Remedy! Made a fucking excellent game! The third thing. The sound made darker, the darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched like a worm through time. The third thing was a monster. <laughs> the worm through time! Now he crashed out of darkness toward Faden. He was stretched like a worm through time? <laughs> I don't think so, Alan Wake. I'm sorry, bud. I just don't think that one... That one would not get past me if I were an editor. Oh, worm? Through time? <laughs> uh, this feels like a battle area. A lot of throwables. Agent Fisher, day six inside the motel. Utilized surveillance methods are as follows. Fiber optic cameras slid under the individual room doors. Motion detectors in the wire. Jefferson City. Springfield. Olympia. Okay. Olympia is where an AWE would be in Washington. If it were going to be in a city, it, and it wouldn't be, it would be on the Olympic Peninsula. But if it were going to be in a city, there's 
there's no way in there. Yeah. I know I'm supposed to stay out of sight, but I've seen the doors close just before. I've had even a glimpse of anyone or anything. <laughs> They're messing with me, whoever they are. I think. Wait, shh. There's something. I gotta get this. I gotta get the cable out. Come on, you fiber optic fuck. Cooperate. <laughs> Like a fiber optic cable through time. All right, there's a light there. Oh my god, I thought you were done. I think I might have finally caught one. The recording better work this time, or I swear to God, I'm. What? Hello? Who's there? Oh shit! I'm with the FBC. Move away from the door. I have a. Yeah, Captain Oblivion, I'm with you, Wando. I, I would like to listen, but I would also like to keep playing the game. I guess that was the it. Okay. NASA cooperation review. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, my God. I heard out there is an enemy. Instead, I have simply... <laughs> Put Jesse in a box. <laughs> no, let me in. Yes. No, let me in. Okay. All right. Um, here's a plant. I'm going to accidentally destroy that plant. I can already tell. All right. Ooh. Nourish the plants. Love an Ati task. Get rid of it. Okay, Ati. Okay. Uh, so we already did the mold in one place. Shine light on the plants and eliminate the darkness. All right. Plant, I love, okay. Such good janitor tasks. Is this the plant, you think? Maybe there's different plants. Keep your eye out for plants, chat. Okay, okay. I can hear you making ominous sounds. I'll do it. Maybe these are the plants. They do look like they're a little, they're a little bit rough. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's back here. Hey, Ron! Let's see. Okay, it's back up this way. Yeah, a lot of good, weird old men in these games. That is an interesting through line. Ati, I did it. Did that count as darkness? Feels like it probably doesn't. Okay, no. All right. Fine. Okay, I can only track one at a time. Yeah, okay. I want to figure out which plants need nourishment. Nourish, nourishment. My understanding of the darkness is fragmented. Ooh, Incomplete. I would like to. This abyss. It very much does not wish to be understood. If light symbolizes knowledge, that darkness is placed in ignorance. By its very nature, it abhors comprehension. Boop. My own nature drives mm. me to comprehend all. We mm. are opposing forces. What? I'm in I'm in a place. <laughs> I did it. I hit one of them with one of them. 
my favorite. Uh-oh. shooting at me. Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Another wave? No, that was it. Okay. So I got, okay, flash that on. That doesn't count as shining a light on these things. Are we, where, are we in the operations corridor? That floor was not a threat. How do I get to, there we go. Uh, okay, we're in the operations center. But we don't, I don't have a light. I wonder if we, I bet we unlock some sort of light power. I bet this is a power up that we get, so I'll, Let's track this one instead. Okay. Dudes that rock and dudes that don't rock. It's true. It's true. It's uh, the only characters they're invested I in. I don't feel right. Uh -oh. Something in this darkness is draining me. Oh no. Oh no! My powers! Okay, so there's a place to put a power cube. I could probably go back and get that other power cube and put it here, but I, that's one of those things where I'm like, is that what I'm supposed to do? I definitely don't like how nasty it is here, so I think I will do that. Nope. Okay. No. It has found its home. It doesn't want to help me not get nasty. Alright. That cube is no companion to me. The cube's forever home. Okay, well, when you put it like that, it's nice. Uh oh. Shit. Hands back on the controller. Is that? Ooh, legs, leggy. Time to go. Ah. So you don't like the light. Did I? Okay, I'm on the same level, I think. Okay. Is there a switch? I should be hitting. Okay, and more power cubes, I see. Additional power sections. How quickly are you gonna attack me if I hop over there? Can I see where the rest of the cubes are? Where, where do you need to go? Where do you need to go, my dear? It giggled at me. I didn't like that. The music is really intense, but there's nothing. <laughs> Ooh, 
Let's work hard. His life is in your hands. I see. Okay, there's another cube location. Okay. I will know I'm where. I will know I'm where, game! Hell? Mm. Hey, Sexalia. I'm just gonna um, yote these around. You can go there. I'll put you that way. This one, let's put it here. You just can't go there. All right. Shum 2. Those feel like they might be cursed. Like, those feel like they might be objects of power. Okay. Let's see. Where is the next? Uh oh. Uh oh. That seemed bad. Uh, there we go. Okay. One. I dropped one right down here. Okay. Nope. Try again. There you go. Here we are. <laughs> she doesn't. <laughs> Absolutely, could yeah, just grab it like and that. flick it. She insists on using her psychic powers to do it. And honestly, I love her for it. That is how I would be if I had powers. I would be like, I'm not gonna hand stir my own coffee. Are you absolutely joking? I'm gonna girl boss my way with my psychic powers in every direction. Brian Hennerman, 21 years old, resident of Southern Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you did, Mr. Hennerman. What'd you do, Mr. Hennerman? The movie? I don't. I mean, it wasn't very good. That's not what your review said, but we'll come back to that. Tell me where you got the movie from. Movie night, with a, you know, a K, not an N, not. Not night, like nighttime, but... Who contacted you? Who told you to review that film? No one. I just did it because it looked obscure. I didn't even like the movie. I shouldn't have given such a high score, but reviewing obscure films makes you look smart. And I thought if I looked smart, I would get listeners. My podcast would take off, and I could live out of my parents' basement. I may even go to college and get a film degree like I've always wanted to. Oh, I swear. Brian. I swear. Dreams. I swear. I swear. What a, what a circuitous route. He doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. To get a film degree, but <laughs> I don't trust that guy. I think he knows more than he was saying. Uh, okay. I guess he needs an elevator now? Ma'am, what are you doing in investigations? Jesus, don't scare me like that. If you're talking right now, I can't hear you. It's a one-way system. Try to find an intercom. Langston, it's me, Jesse. 
I know. I can see you on the monitors. The cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple years back. <laughs> Let me guess. You sealed it because of the monster guy. Wait, did you see Dr. Hartman? Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that fire break. Okay, listen, you need to find Hartman and kill him before he gets out into the Bureau. That thing is a person? He was, was. a person. Yeah. We brought him here to study after he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. I forget the medical word for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. <laughs> Do you have a flashlight? No. Uh, a lantern? Headlamp? Oh, yeah, flare gun. Oh, Christmas lights. You could wrap them around your- I don't have any of those. <laughs> Barry! Shit. Okay, uh, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. I'll Good keep luck. I'll from the Panopticon. This is kind of exciting, right? Maybe from where you're standing. Right, okay, well, uh, break a leg. Oh, why did I say that? Okay, this Hartman thing can't have gotten very far. Let's go flush him out. Hmm. Langston was right. This is kind of exciting. It's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Ever since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different, like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. <gasps> Eagle Limited. People just don't understand the altered items hour. like I do, you know? Yeah, I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't Still, want to brag. Making it so personal. <laughs> right. I mean, the teams in <laughs> research handle paranatural materials every day. I want to hear no Lynn's in monologue. Weird. Well, maybe that's not true. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, but Darling. when he's weird, it's charming. Altered items <laughs> really aren't that frightening once you get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them off, then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals scared of our own shadows. We're supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves, like it's a race and we're all trying to be number one. If it is a race though, I'd say Darling is a mile ahead of everyone else. I love the idea he that everybody else hates Dr. For Darling. Years, but that relationship has gotten pretty tense, or so I've heard through the grapevine. Not that I spread rumors, just, you know, People talk. Not me, though. I keep my nose to the ground. <laughs> Too much work to do to focus on those kinds of things. I need to stay focused so I can get my work done and get home to feed Alfred. Of course, Wait, tell me about Alfred. I make it home for mealtime, so I have my neighbor check in on Alfred at 7 o'clock if I'm not back yet. She's How long nice is forever, Jesse? She's older. She came to New York in the 50s to attend school and has been here ever since. She had a couple of kids. I met them at Thanksgiving. Big family. Very nice people. Anyway, she has a key to my apartment, and she gives <laughs> Alfred his dinner if I'm not home. Well, I want to know what Alfred is. I'm a nice fruit arrangement as a thank you after this. I'm missing a lot of Alfred's meal times. She's probably going to have to go to the store for more wet food. Okay, probably a cat, back. right? Hold on, let me make a note. Pay back Maria <laughs> for Alfred's food. I think they're okay. fucking with me oh, now. Okay. <laughs> and <by laughs> they're doing this to fuck with us. Eight. They're specifically drawing this out to see how much we can fucking oh, take. <laughs> All right, done. Are you a cat person? I don't think I ever asked. You seem like one, though. Of course, like Alfred's a cat. He's very proper. Really carries himself well. You know, I named him after my favorite poet. Felt like a good fit. I got Alfred, Alfred Lord just Tennyson? before Sylvia died when I was at the... Huh. You know, I don't really remember where I got Alfred from. But, boy, those two did not get along. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. Sylvia thought she owned... <laughs> love you, Langston. I love... I love that the Bureau um, just kind of seals places off. I think that's one of the funniest things. When they're just like, uh-oh, some got loose. Time to brick it over. <laughs> no, not listening to cat gossip. I'm sorry. I'm going to regret it. As I was walking away, I was like, but what about Sylvia? What happened? They must have gotten along eventually.
<laughs> yeah, Mechtel, it's like, it's not a bad strategy. It's not a bad strategy, but it is the fucking funniest strategy. <laughs> light powers yet. Obviously this is going to lead to me getting light powers, right? It's just got to. Bathroom, bathroom. Turkey Tangle Frog Fruit, like, yeah, official policy. The, the Cask of Amontillado is official, official bureau policy. Okay, shine light on the plants. Are there any plants in this area? Operation uh, Corridor? No, I don't think so. We're in the observation deck area. Corridor. I know, okay. I can't believe this fucking PS controller has is drifting. I'm I'm just furious about it. It's so annoying to have to stream with drift. Hi, are you okay, buddy? Oh, Away from me. Ooh. All right. That power plug is all gunked up. Uh, Mechtel, yes. I forgot that is a thing you can do. Uh, that I simply must do. that. Where is there another? Oh, there we go. Hold on. Where did I drop the light? There we go. That one. Get that one. There we go. I guess I just assumed that that's what I was going for since there's a giant <laughs> yellow mat in front of it. And is there something I need to pull? Of course. Ah! <laughs> Fuck! Oh, I want that. Okay. Sexali Derulo, like, how much do you need to get your new stickers, though? Like, truly consider how cold it is, probably, wherever you are, and how, how cozy it is. Oh, Kaylee makes a good point. Having cozy blankets and stickers is, is far superior to just having cozy blankets. Okay... Okay, what did that get me? Boop. Okay. Uh, 
I see. I see. Okay, hold on. Stop moving. Is that going to move it backwards? Okay. Oh, <laughs> so close. Feels like too far. All right, we'll see. Yeah. Negative seven. Feels like negative thirty. It's bad out. It's just you know what? It's just stay indoors time. You know. See something that is decidedly not a friend. It's too dark in here to fight this thing. Yeah, it's fucked up. It's almost like they designed it this way, Jesse. <laughs> Leggies. Sorry, the creature just has such long legs. I don't know why it's so funny. Surprise snow squalls, damn. Okay, okay. No need to flicker at me. What, what area are we in? Lower access, okay. I just feel like this thing is gonna like suck my soul. Oh god, it's looking at me. Oh, that's terrible. I did not like how it shuffled. <laughs> shuffled side to side staring at me like that. That is really unpleasant. Okay, obviously I need you. Rude boy. Nope. Okay. Where am I putting you? Did I see an area? Maybe it was back at the start. Is there something over here, maybe? No, just the area I need to go to. Okay. back at the start. Right. Uh, you, all of you, all this shit needs to get out of the way. Okay. Where'd the thing go? This needed to go somewhere over here. Cause if it, this is the wrong place. I'm gonna be annoyed at nobody but myself, but at myself for sure. Uh, actor for hire.
Dearest Hollywood, have you ever wished you had an actor who could do it all? Who could be a man or a woman, an adult or child, a dolphin, or a Boston Terrier? Well, today's your lucky day. My name is Gareth Clems, and I'm the world's greatest actor. Not only do I have years of stage experience, but I am an accomplished shapeshifter. Whether you need a misbehaving cat, ferocious wolfman, swashbuckling pirate, or debonair southern belle, I'm your man. Or am I? I'll be arriving in town on May 11th, 1971, and will be available for meetings and aud auditions beginning the 13th. See you in the movies! Love it. Obsessed. Alright, well, where the fuck am I supposed to put this? Okay. <laughs> Honestly, just mean. Alright. Uh, yeah. Maybe somewhere high? Somewhere up I'm supposed to go? Okay, I can't go back. Can I pull you off the wall? No. Be somewhere back here. You know what? I'm gonna find it and then we're gonna backtrack for that thing. Put it there. I grabbed it from. Oh, maybe it's on the other side there. Uh, no. Okay, let me. I'll cross over first, and then we'll we'll reinvestigate. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Supposed to be over here the whole time. Don't be angry at me, bro. this boy cross. It's so misty. Okay. Oh, I got to be staring at me. Openable. All right. See, that wasn't so bad. Hartman is scary for how much light he has. <laughs> Look. 
Laser beaks, was that a brief time? And do you perceive that time as being over? <laughs> In many ways, it feels like we are only seeing the very beginning of what is going to be a much exacerbated trend. What with video games now actually becoming movies. Wow, drift makes it a lot harder to snipe. Yeah, I mean, I would say Remedy is way ahead of the trend when it comes to uh, making video games that want to be movies. And I, in a positive way, I think. I probably didn't need to listen to that thing at all. Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> I was hoping to back into... I was hoping to back into that room, but that didn't really pan out for me. Hmm... Defiance was the one that was set in St. Louis, right? I feel like my mom watched that. Did not did not engage with the game elements at all, but watched uh, the show. And I remember being like, sci-fi set in St. Louis. I think it would just make me angry to see how wrong they got stuff. So I, I did not end up watching it. All right, let's try okay. this again. We're gonna try this one more time and then we're done. I said the thing that interrogator said. Jelly, where are you from? Jelly? Up and loose in the heavy treats. Jesus Christ, does anyone have any idea what this thing is saying? Hotly, dirt arrange you. Why are you here? Huh? What the hell do you want? Why'd you stow away on that ship? School bearing boy boy. Eyes many cartilized boy. School bearing boy boy. Wendy Wendy Mitchell. Did he just say Mitchell? Was there a Mitchell at NASA? Dudes. Hmm. You know what? Never mind. I can't do this anymore. Just send this thing to the guys in research. Let them cut it up or See, look at how useful this jam emote has already been. You pain in the ass. Spider time. Spider time. If you say so. I don't remember how to fight these boys at all. Defiance talk brought you out of lurk mode. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> Spider time. Spider time, y'all. Man, I, I mentioned this earlier, but I watched Dr. No last night because it's the first James Bond movie, and I was, I was curious, context-wise. It's pretty wild. It's pretty, it's pretty good, but pretty insane in a lot of ways. That fucking volcano lair is truly incredible. I, I feel like, I feel like it might have aged better than most James Bond movies. I've got like Fuck Forgot I had shield powers Like what am I even doing here Oh Okay. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, it, 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 it's, it's so weird. <laughs> it's such a weird movie. I, I haven't really engaged with the other James Bond movies, so I don't have, like, a full perspective on how the legacy changes, but it was, like, a surprisingly enjoyable spy movie. Uh, like, there's a lot of stuff that, like, James Bond, uh, sees coming, but there's also a lot of stuff he doesn't. Like, so it has a very interesting, like, push and pull. Like, it's just a good spy movie. Uh, it, it is weird to see uh, how horny all of the women are for James Bond. Um, in a very explicit way. That's kind of, in a way, refreshing. Uh, because the women are very, like, sexually forward, which I feel like is something that you see in some eras of cinema and you don't see in others. Uh, but we, it, it's kind of refreshing to see, like, ladies being like, hmm, Sean Connery, I love that ass. Let me see it. Let me see it. Take your top off, Sean Connery. Like, it, 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 it's fascinating in that perspective. Where am I okay? Uh, there is some stuff that's a little, <laughs> a little not great. Uh, there's one portion where he has sex with a woman that is a spy, and he knows she's a spy. She's not a very good spy, is what I'll say. Uh, and he knows that she's a spy and that she is trying to keep him in her apartment and so he's like well we're gonna have sex then and that is one of those things where it's like that feels weird because james bond knows that she's a spy and and it's just one of those things where it's like Ooh. it feels weird that he's like have sex to keep me here and maybe that's because i recently watched there there's that cary grant movie where uh, he's like the spy master for a woman and she has to have, she, she gets married to like their, their Nazi target. And yeah, Mechtel, that's, that's the vibe. And in that movie, she's just like, I don't want to marry this man. I don't want to have to have sex with ma this man. You're, you're making me a prostitute for the CIA, basically. And it's like really good. It's a Hitchcock movie. It's really good and interesting. But it, that I feel like has influenced how I perceive that moment in this James Bond movie where it's like it does feel coercive Notorious yes Nicholas yes Notorious is the movie I'm thinking of is there a light that I need to be grabbing oh I see no I need to move the bridge until it's pointing at that door all right where's the Yes. Yeah. It's, 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 it's on the line. Uh, there's also a portion where the, the first Bond girl, Honey, talks about, like, talks about an experience being raped, and then she's like, yeah, and then I killed the guy. <laughs> and it's just like, it, it is such a, it's a fascinating moment in the spy movie, and I think that kind of gets away with it because it's like, Okay, how do I move the bridge back? Uh, because it's like... It, it, it's just, it's a movie that's very forward about the fact that sex is a thing and they're, they're talking about it in all of these different ways. Oh, I have to... I see. I'd forgotten that you have to interact with these things. All right, see, this is what happens when you don't play a DLC for a game for years, <laughs> I guess years. Thank you, chat. Oh, no, thank you. Never mind. <laughs> you 
work for me. Ah! Boys, take care of this thing. Who is shooting at me? What? Who was shooting at me? <laughs> Yarn and knitting stuff. That's cool. What are you working on? Back into bed. Congratulations <laughs> for being in bed. <laughs> it's, it's a nice, it's a nice place to be. All right, we'll do it all again. Yeah, I had all sorts of things that I was intending to do this weekend. And then when I saw the weather, I was like, actually, none of them. Actually, none of this. All right, I need to find the... I'll just go ahead and whiff. Oh, damn. I didn't know I could control the... I didn't know I could potentially possess the shield hiss. I wonder if... I wonder if that's all humor. Yeah, I went out, when I went out for groceries, it was like in the 20, 20 degrees. No, actually it was, it was higher than that. It was like a good, it was still a good like 35 degrees out, but the wind was so knife-like. I was like, fuck this. I was like, absolutely not on this one. No, thank you. My lovely. All right. Now we can fuck around. I saw you, little sniper. Saw you. <laughs> I do like how they explode. All right. Where'd you go, little, little man? All right. I use that stomp power more often. It is very fun. Oh, surcharge. Huge fallen trees all over Portland? Goodness. I saw the very good photo you posted of the decked out bean in her winter wear. Ron, so cute. Ah! That one startled me. All right, there's got to be a sniper over here, right? Like, that's got to... Had to have been what was attacking me. Ow! Yeah, I see him. I see him.
know if I like this gun. I might, I might swap it out. Before we get a moment. All right, did it do it? Is that the thing? Okay. I think that was the thing. Let's swap this gun out. I feel like I, I don't think any of these are the guns that I used for the majority of my run. Accuracy. Ammo cost while leveling is a classic. Look like Twinkie with two faces in it. Yes. Yes. She looked like a New Year's lemon pig. Reload, speed while shielding. Recoil. Ammo refund? Let's try that. Okay, this feels like a good, good alternative. Oh. Huh. Hidden location discovered. Yeah, I know your I know some of your tricks still, game. Not all of them, but I know some of them. There we go, there's the light. Goth, did you play Control? Cause it's, it's Primo, Primo architecture. Uh, no, I wanted the map. Shifted offices, okay. This is the first you're seeing it. Uh, Control's a great game. And it's all, it's all just incredible brutalist architecture. Hello. Okay. I'm just going to freestyle. Looks like whatever force had a hold on Hartman isn't mixing well with the his corruption. Hmm. Leak did call him the third thing. Not man nor woman, but the third thing. Never. What is Langston doing? Is he playing a theremin? Isn't a stranger just someone this is... you don't know? <laughs> this is his form of freestyling. What if the only Freestyle thing stopping a stranger from being a friend is that word? Stranger. Strange. -er. Strange like the noises you hear at night when there is no light and you cannot bite. Strange like a rubber duck. We're in uh, AWE. And makes you drop your coffee every time that it quacks because the noise scares you. Then you have to clean up the coffee while the duck stares at you and continues to quack 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 okay well okay well a chain letter Ooh. <laughs> i remember these Chain Not letter. To say they were evil. Hmm. Better do what it says. You know. Ah. Just in case. There must be a photocopier around here. Photocopier. Back in my day, we uh, transmitted chain letters by hand. Well, this just became the most important thing to do, obviously. Uh. A photocopier. Come on. Have take some pride in your chain letter devotion. Director Faden here. I need a 
Ranger dispatched to my position. Have him bring a photocopier. Ah! Oh my god. You're gonna die. What are you doing here? Yeah. yeah. You shouldn't be here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Night Spring screenplay. Hold on. Type 2 shaded individual. Pro shielded by or produces a blank of darkness. Makes visual observation difficult. All right. The director steps close to the horrible entity. He reaches out with a steady hand. You are mine now, creature. I will return you to my facility and control your powers. Scientist, sir, we don't know. The entity instead rushes forward and engulfs the director. He screams in pain as the scientist looks on and does nothing, like the coward that he is. Entity, subtitled, I am not the one being examined. I am not the one locked inside a prison. Gradually, the director emerges from the entity. His once sparkling eyes are now empty and dull. The scientist rushes to him. Scientist, sir, sir, we have to escape. Director, we cannot. They are in control now. I got what I wanted. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, thank you for the Prime Gaming subscribe. Itchy insides. Uh, okay. These both lead out here, where there are. All right, this all leads out here. All right, well, let's fuck them up. I just didn't realize this was over a pit, <laughs> over a big empty pit. Okay. Cat on your shoulder alert draped like a scarf. Ideal, ideal cold weather position. A kitten draped somewhere amongst your person. Can I go in here without summoning? Okay. I I don't I don't want to summon a lad just for him to be killed. <laughs> and it just seems likely. Oh wait, are we in the lo hold on. We're in the loading bay. Whoops. There's plants in the loading bay, right? Yes, loading bay, okay. Is there darkness in the loading bay I need to deal with? No, okay. All right, one thing at a time. Ah! Nope. 
Let me control you! There we go. Enjoy your own grenade, you fool. Did they kill my boy already? You dick. Is that all of them? I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, does anybody see any plants? <laughs> Said so there should be plants in the loading bay. need to shine lights on. Alright, that leads to back to the main area. Okay. Okay. I think I'm supposed to go that way? I don't see any plants, though. <laughs> All right, now send a boy to help. To my location. Let's put Hi! Down. Yeah! Now you can hang out, he's just a friend. Uh, we're supposed to shine light on the plants to nourish them. They're in the control room or adjacent to it. Mm. I just walked past it? feel better that was hard to see okay this is gonna be a tricky one. Oh, that was only one of them though okay all right so there must be more hey sir all right ah okay Welcome back to the land of the living, little buddy. Oh, this is very satisfying. All right, there should be one more. Let's check the other side. instinct is there should be one on uh, that my video game instinct says there should be one in the middle and one on either side mm, back 
there. Ati, why are you, where, why? I, I'm not convinced that these are good places for plants. There it is, okay. Uh, where'd I put the fucking light? Uh, there we go. This is absolutely the best use of my superpowers. that. I guess I'm supposed to go down here. Bye, soldier. Thank you for your help with the plan. Holy shit, how'd you get down here? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe you'll be fine. I mean, it, it seems, given how many times I have killed myself, um, with exploding powers and stuff. Seems really likely that that fool is gonna get crunched. I'm just saying, I think the most dangerous place in the game is directly behind or to other either side of me. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh one more node. Alright, there we go. I'm glad I double checked that. I would have been very annoyed if I had not successfully Hit all the nodes. Okay. Okay. All right. I think the I think the soldier evaporated. Honestly, for the best, he was starting to creep me out. Oh, it's getting a little juicy. Okay. Uh-uh. Okay, so there's some light there. Some light there. Knew you. another one of these the floor is lava situations okay all right so there was there's a power cube over there but i can't access it because it's all gooped. What is that gonna do? Ah, that's fun. Okay. Oh, great, okay, is it gonna goop? Okay, no, it did not goop. Is this one where I'm gonna have to stop it? This feels like one where I'm gonna have to Jump and stop it. Moon basket, me too. Is such a fun visual. Okay. The Apollo 14 entity, commonly known as Fra, 
underwent a series of physical examinations upon its admittance to the oldest house. The entity can speak, although its poor grasp of English language makes any meaningful communication impossible. Interview material. Oh, I wonder if that's the interview that we heard. Spider time. You know what I mean? Bye, Tofu. Stay warm. Its physical form consists uh, solely of extravehicular mobility unit, EMU, spaceship used by the NASA astronauts, the same model worn by the other crew. Ugh. One material. That's interesting considering that, like, okay, so this entity is possessing a space shoot suit. Thomas Zane also kind of possessed a space suit, if you'll recall. Um... It's entirely hollow and pieces can be removed, though. This seems to agitate the entity, I bet. Um, okay, this is an interesting connection. Hmm. So I'm, I'm, it, it kind of implies that Thomas Zane is Fra. Can I get you? No, you're still gooped. Okay. Okay. Well, it's not doing me any good. There's already light here. Hmm. Oh, is this gonna get it? if that degoop the other thing. Oh, is it just gonna come back here? Okay. So I need to make an island of light. Well, maybe not. Hold on. So I need three. I've got one. There's one over in the other side. Let's go and get that one. Oh no, wait, the, okay, so the light that I was using, um, I'm just gonna have to like follow. Ah! <laughs> that was startling. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you caught, the, that really, that really startled me. Okay, so I'm gonna, follow this light. I think. I was gonna come up here. <laughs> I'm glad my jump scare jump scared you. Undead Adamus. As it should be. Alright. You gonna go over here. Here. I don't know how I'm going to get back. I see. All right. So. I see. So this will go back the way that I just came. This will go forward this way. So let's try it. Uh oh. Where are you going? Not ideal. No, okay, this is fine actually. Oh no, okay. Uh, okay, so this should help me get that cube. Okay. Can I get all this shit out of the way? No. No, but I can put more shit in the way so that it's harder to get to. Alright. Alright. Uh, 
I press it a button. I pressed the button, it didn't do anything. Uh... Paranormal entity arrived on Earth by infiltrating Apollo 14 lunar mission. Uh, White House senior official contacted them. Each human crew member was insistent that the mission left with four members, though they couldn't name the fourth when asked. The entity seemingly affected their memory to make its presence feel unremarkable. An altercation between NASA security and the investigation team occurred upon their arrival. Mr. Blank called to clarify the matter, though tensions remain high. Uh, Bureau jurisdiction and clearance should be defined more clearly with other federal agencies. Okay, well I pressed a button and nothing, nothing happened. Uh, I'm worried that I didn't power up the right thing. No, that, that doesn't super make sense. I get up there? No. No, but this does make me vulnerable. Hmm. I feel like I've somehow gotten stuck. And it's not uh, <laughs> clear to me how. Okay. Don't baby, baby, baby me. Hartman. Um, I'm worried that the button glitched. <laughs> yeah, uh, because if I can't move the light, then I'm stuck here. Like, I can't get anywhere without it killing me. Uh, so... Uh... Yeah, kind of feels like I'm supposed to be able to press the button multiple times. Well, glitched. Game glitched. Uh, well, that's fine. This is about the time I should end the stream anyway. So, like a worm through time. Exactly, Hartman. Uh, so we'll end the stream here, I guess. And I will... Tr try <laughs> to uh, fix this. I'll, we'll, we'll either reload something that was farther back or um, no, that's probably what we'll do. We'll just reload. Uh, let's go raid Pat. It's been a minute. He needs all the support he can get. That's not true. I don't know why I said that. He's doing fine. Uh, Alright, we're gonna raid Pat. Happy Sunday. Stay warm if you can stay inside. Uh, have, treat yourself. It's a cozy little snowy little cold day. Treat yourself to a nice indoor day. That's what I have to say about the matter. All right. I'll see you over on Pat's stream. Uh, we'll be playing more of this on Tuesday. That's it. At the new streaming time. Don't forget. 7 a.m. Central Time. Okay. I'll see you over there. Bye. Just like whatever technology this is.